ASEAN Special Envoy wants to visit Myanmar next month to meet the country's ousted leaders. Oh, it's now up to the military to decide if the visit by Prak Sokon, who is also Cambodia's foreign minister, can proceed. Some of our colleagues demand uh, a bit too much. I would say that they have demanded some hard precondition that was not acceptable by Naipidao, meaning the special envoy will have to be able to meet with Madame Aung San Suu Kyi and uh, former President Win Min uh, during his first visit, something that Naipidao did not accept. So we were stalled. The process was blocked. Um, even two months later, nothing happened. So my prime minister decided to take a different approach, uh, including engaging with Naipidao. Engaging with Naipidao in order to break the ice. ASEAN foreign ministers are meeting in Phnom Penh and Myanmar is a key concern. Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen's recent visit to meet Army Chief Min Ong Klein is seen as an example of a different approach to this crisis. Well, that did not go down well with protesters in Myanmar, or they say the trip only serves to validate the Myanmar army. And Leong Waikit joins us live from Phnom Penh. Waikit, will Cambodia's stance on using a different approach on Myanmar lead to a divide within ASEAN? Well, so it's very clear that there is a division of opinions and views, and you've heard it earlier from the man himself, Mr. Praxakon, who chaired the media conference. He had used uh, some descriptions of his ASEAN uh, counterparts. In fact, earlier he also pointed out that some ASEAN member states have maintained the position of not inviting Myanmar to this retreat here in Phnom Penh, which is why Cambodia as ASEAN chair had to, and I quote, be compelled, but to not invite the army-linked foreign affairs minister, instead extending that invite to a non-political representative. Now, with regard to using a different approach or different tactics to handle the Myanmar crisis, Mr. Praxokon says he's made it very clear to his um, colleagues in, in the region during the retreat that he's going to take that approach. But he also added that he will continue to consult uh, his uh, counterparts on any approach on Myanmar. Now, earlier, we also spoke with uh, Singapore's foreign affairs minister, Dr. Vivian Balakri, now, he says that the differences in opinions and visions and, and, position, uh, and, and views are not necessarily seen as a divide. Now, he pointed out that last year, ASEAN had made a decision to not invite Myanmar to ASEAN meetings until progress is being made. And he says that ultimately, that remains unchanged. Let's take a listen. That position has been maintained even in this meeting here uh, in Cambodia. So I would say let's judge by our actions rather than picking on the obvious variation in perceptions and burdens that fall upon all, all of us. Oh, I get, how can ASEAN make headway on the Myanmar crisis if Myanmar itself continues to be excluded from these meetings? Well, well, so if the Myanmar army's words, statements and promises are anything to go by, then they've made that promise themselves. They say that they will continue to work with ASEAN with regard to resolving the Myanmar issue. But that's their side of the story. And we do know that the Myanmar army often has its own sets of narratives. Um, earlier, of course, uh, this retreat has already concluded. But the main event, of course, is the foreign affairs uh, minister's retreat, but there's also another meeting that involves the senior officials at the working level. And at that meeting, Myanmar did send a representative. There were talks that were ongoing and the discussions uh, were also being made. So it's hoped that at the working level, this uh, form of engagement uh, will continue. Uh, one point is very clear made at this retreat here, and that is that Myanmar continues to be an important part of the ASEAN family. Dr. Vivian Balakrishnan, whom we spoke to earlier, had also said that not all communication is cut off with Myanmar, and here's why. Even though we have said we are not inviting a political representative, even today, they dialed in, 
they had access to our meetings. Well, having said that, one thing is very clear. If you speak to anybody about Myanmar, the answer is that there's not going to be any fast solution, and any solution will have to come from Myanmar and its people. Oh, thanks so much for all that. Leong Waikit speaking to us there from Phnom Penh.